Okay, now um, I'm assuming that you are either switching over from a PC to a Mac or you've just bought your first Mac. Uh, or it's not your first Mac but it's um, the first new Intel Mac running 10.4. So all of these um, tips and tricks and so forth are really about that. Okay. I'm going to just go through a few things about setting up your Safari page. Now I have tried many different um, browsers uh, and that's what these programs are called, browsers, they're the things that give you the portal into the internet, allow you to get into the internet. Um, I prefer to use Safari now, I've come back to Safari after trying just about everything else uh, because it's so well integrated with all of the other suite of programs that uh, you get with your new Mac. Now here's an example of how well integrated it is. For instance, let's say um, I find a page like the Apple Start page and I want to send it to somebody. All I do is hit the command which is the flower, we'll say the Apple key. So that's, um, that's you'll notice if you look at your keyboard now you'll see there are three keys off to the left of your spacebar. Okay, the control option and the other one's called a command key. Now depending on what uh, keyboard you've got you may actually have a command written on it but otherwise you've got an apple and a kind of flowery symbol. Uh, now so I'm just going to call that um, the apple key so, so so command is the apple key. Okay, so that's if you hit command and an I what it does is it opens up your email with a brand new email ready to go to send that entire page across to somebody embedded in the email itself. I reckon that's fantastic. Now if I hit my addresses like this, and I don't think I've got any addresses in this address book I might have. Uh, oh yeah, I've got one. So now I can click on that. Um, or I have a computer if I like and uh, that'll appear up there. I haven't got anything at the moment but whatever you've got in there um, will appear up there and then you simply press send and off it goes. So that's a brilliant uh, feature that um, happens with integration. Um. Okay, the next one is to have a look at how you set up your Safari. Now you'll actually have a bunch of um, uh, links sitting along the top here but I'm, I've taken all mine out so I can show you how to put them in. Imagine first of all, so you have a look at the bookmarks, if you click on this bit here you'll see there's the bookmarks. Now that's how you get in and out of it by clicking on that. It'll go back to the start page or back to your bookmarks. Okay, now let's just go back to the start page by clicking this off. So now I'm looking at the page. Now um, let's say I want to find another one. So what I'll do is I'll type in here. I can either drag across there to do it, or alternatively, um, I can just click on this and that selects the lot. Okay, now. What if I want to type in the age? Up it comes. Theage.com. AU. You don't necessarily have to have uh, the whole thing typed in. So here's the age newspaper. Now it so happens I like uh, reading newspapers in the morning. So what I'm going to do is create in the bar here, that's this bar here, a set of links that allows me to do it. Now I could have just the age, I could just drag this down to there. Okay, so in other words, let's have a look. All I've done is grabbed it here and dragged it onto the bar itself. It then asked me what type the name of the bookmark. <coughs> if I want to, I can just press OK and I'll have this long Falutin age bookmark here, which will take me to the age every time. However, 
I don't want to do that because I want to put a lot of paper. So see how I got rid of that? I just, it was in the bookmark there, in the bookmarks bar to get rid of it. Just click on it, hold it down, or click and hold, drag it out and it goes poof. Now, what I want to do instead is to create uh, a folder. So what I'm, I've done is clicked on here, which is the bookmarks bar. I'm going to create a new folder, so I'm going to go down here, click on this, and when I go up here, I'll find a new folder which is untitled, and I'm going to put, type in news, it's already selected for me to do it, okay, and uh, there you'll see it, that it's empty. Now what I want to do, is go back to the page that I'm looking at, so get out of the bookmarks, there's the age, and what I'm going to do is to click on this, uh, it says plus, now I can put it in the bookmarks bar, or now I can put it in news, so that's the new folder there at the top, now it so happens I've got a whole bunch of other folders as well that are, that are there, but um, just in my bookmarks bar I haven't so I'm going to put the age. I'm actually going to get rid of uh, the rest of it. I don't need to have, you know, the World News, Finance, Australia and all the rest of it written in there. The age will do. Click Add. Um, now when I go to News... Ah! <laughs> Why isn't it there? Oh, I see what I've done. I've uh, put it in the wrong one. Let's just do this again, OK? So I go... Uh, click here, ok, get rid of this, ok, make it smaller, put it into news, which is what I didn't do, press add, and there it is in news, the age, ok, now, let's say I want to add to that, here's another way of, of by the way, of selecting something, I've already got .comau there, um, so I'm just going to double click on that bit, and you notice it only selects a bit between the dots. Um, uh, let's see, the Herald. Um, let's see if there's anything called the Herald .com aid. Yes, there is an infamous and nasty paper. Um, not one that I like at all, but I put it in there anyway because I like to see what the other half are reading. Uh, once again, oh, that's the Newcastle Herald. Sorry, no, it's, I don't think that's too bad, but probably isn't all that good. Oh, maybe it's all right. Maybe it's all right. Okay, it's still on the news because it stays at the one that I last clicked in. Click add. Now I've got two in there: the Age and the Herald. Now, how's this for a good trick, right? I open this up. Let's say I close this. I quit Safari, now I open Safari again, it starts up at the startup page, which is, I'll show you how to change that in a minute, and instead of just uh, clicking on um, news like this and choosing the age first and the herald first, for instance, either one, what I can do is go into the bookmarks bar, go to the folder that I'm looking at, say auto click and that gives the two addresses so click on that now go back out of the bookmarks now you'll notice that something's changed instead of having a down arrow there it's got a little box it's it says opens the bookmarks in this folder in tabs now this is really convenient because here i am reading uh, the mac front page now all i have to do is to click this and two tabs open up the age and the Newcastle Herald, okay, both in, in separate tabs. And you can have as many as you want in there, I think, heaps and heaps. So you then look for, you know, papers, put them into that so you can click it. Now, um, that's a pretty good way of doing things.